previously. You are en route to Isabel's Haven with Sam, a young Malkavian. There's this sense of paranoid dread growing in him. She's just kind of very tunnel vision. This poor child who was left to kind of fester, abandoned. There's things that's on your mind, mate. Best wrestle them out of you now. No use keeping it cooped up. You are worried. You are dealing with one mentally unwell kindred. You don't want to be dealing with two. I would like to text Victoria Montrose. Who is your sire? Where are you? What about my head? We haven't been seen associating. Yet. Everything will be okay. Sam. What makes you say that, Sam? He is not one of us! I say he is. I'm going to grab Vincent. I mesmerise him. Sam is our enemy. Yes, clearly this is a ferocious monster. Victoria sits. How can I help? Now, do you want me to begin, or Kevin? Does do you think Kevin has something to say? Kevin's gonna like at the at the moment he's just taking, he'll he'll step in when he needs to, but he also recognizes that this is your sire, and he's gonna allow you to. He recognizes stress, and he'd rather you alleviate that stress first. I think also Isabel would be to make sure that you don't spin the story. Sure. Against Sam. So we'll let the story, we'll let the narrative play out. You guys just interrupt and talk over each other as okay. you feel Great. appropriate. So the first thing I do is, um, of the papers that I have, I find the biggest example of the Sabat symbol mm-hmm. and the portraits of us. Okay. And I put them on the coffee table in front of my sire. Mm-hmm. And um, Kevin will just look at those symbols and just say, Sabat. This is, these are things that we found... Uh, we have been tasked with finding Chalista by someone from my clan, Tony Jade. Through that, we looked at Ward Z, where Charlie's children have been kept, locked away. This is where we found Sam, and this is where we found the drawings. There were two of them, Sam and Chloe. Chloe seemed to be exerting some kind of willpower over the boy. He came with us. She fled with some of the other writings and pictures that we found. Does Kevin know that it is not the best thing that they went into the haven of Charlie's. Um, I didn't say we went into his haven. I know you didn't, but but I'm asking a particular question. Does Kevin know that that it would be a bad thing to mention that? You've noticed that there have been two conversations already had in front of you by your two compatriots about the sanctity of havens. Yep. So you suspect that it's a a social faux pas. Great. Then you won't say a word. But more gravely concerning than, than, than this, than drawings is we, we went to Charlie's Haven. We found evidence of dark rituals, a, a, a deep pit I- I- in the yard. Thin a, f- bloods. a finger of a thin blood that had clawed at the dirt and a, 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 a tub inside, an ornate tub that had been filled with Vitae. Pardon. Hold on. Yes, sir. That last part's interesting. A tub with Vitae? Yes. Of many, many different kindreds. Yes, as Kevin says. Hmm. Continue. In Charlie's study notes. And they concern... Uh, one moment, sire. Um, a, a ship. Uh, the Patrice. A, a Greek passenger ship. Um, he was obsessed with it. And traced its history back through the 50s and to the 70s. Uh, bringing immigrants and bodies coffins over and and this um the photo the photo and the a crumpled he produces the crumpled photo mm-hmm. um a poem on the coffin does this mean anything you've held it longer than i have uh, the translation it says uh my children my creations beautiful things my, yes my beautiful things watch and listen listen and watch back to the bathtub with vitae in it Yes. When was it last used? It seems like it was used many times, but it is unsure on how recently it had been emptied. Many times. How were you able to ascertain that? As in different vitae. Uh, No, maybe all at once. We don't know that. That's true. We don't. Right. So you're proposing that it was used by one kindred bloodlet into it and then drained and then another drained or alternatively mixed together. The latter seems more likely. To my mind, too. Hmm. Right. And what information do we have? 
This was at Charlie's Haven, which you broke into, I presume? Yes, sire. We are incredibly sorry, You contacted the sheriff? No. The primogen, well, August, isn't it? You contacted the whip of Clan Macavian to uh, tell them that you were breaking into, and you thought their kindred... Actually, Adam's child was was in danger? Um, we presumed that if we were being mm. put on the search, that you this presumed. was known. Mm-hmm. Isabel, do you know much about Tony? Uh, question, do I know that much no. about Tony? You don't know I much about know, your clan. Yeah. You do have your whole generations. I did give you the full Yeah, breakdown. yeah, yeah. No, I know who yeah. he is, but I, mm-hmm. in terms of association... Yeah. The, the default is the lower the generation number, the more strong they are. It brings up a question that Kevin has, like, as soon as she says the word Tony, mm-hmm. that brings up a very important question for Kevin. Why did Tony know about the Haven when his own coterie didn't? Tony's coterie? No, no, no. Charlie's. Uh, Charlie's coterie. We spoke to them. They didn't even know where he Haven, but... Tony did. You're right. Tony's they the one that sent much. us there. Charlie's coterie doesn't know much. But why did Tony know? He told us where it was, and he told us that it was our job to find... It's probably worth asking him, but in the message you said something more pressing. Vincent, I don't see anything here that indicates... You said you found a fingernail or a finger in a backyard. Along with other remains of sinbloods. Okay, that's more concerning. Dark, dark Sabat rituals and uh, a kindred dead, possibly at Sabat hands. They could be here. The, 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 the visions of the prince could be our imminent demise at the hands of the Sabat. Uh, of course, this is pressing, there sire. Is, there is one other thing we haven't mentioned. Oh, good. You've left out things. We know that Charlie had been visiting both Sam and Chloe in the weeks up unto his disappearance. Oh, well, he shouldn't be doing that. I'm going to have a word with Charlie when I see him. Um, well, he is gone. That they is all turn up. They're Macavians. They always do. He's been missing for more than a month. It is unusual even for him. His cotre said as much. And dark rituals at his haven. Uh, uh, sire, mm. do you not see how this is... Can I put a read on her to see if she's, sure. not, she's withholding information that she clearly has? She. I, I'll, I'll give it to you for free. Cool. She is... Unimpressed by the evidence that seems to have whipped her child into a frenzy. Yeah. yeah. She, it, not into a frenzy, into a, a state, into a panic. But more than that, she is clearly trying to figure it out from your kind of like, you're tell, you've, you, the experience where you have experienced something and you're telling it back to someone mm-hmm. and they don't seem to get the same visceral reaction yeah. because you've experienced it mm-hmm. and you're just recounting it. But she's, there's nothing she's that of state. her. There's nothing of her withholding or not telling us something. She is clearly withholding lots of stuff. She's a Tremere. Yeah. She has <laughs> lots of secrets. Pertinent into this case, like that's but, not but, an that's not an no, unreasonable no, no, yeah, question yeah, yeah, yeah. to ask. If she is, she's figuring it out about what what she's going to divulge. Like that's that's the kind of she's working through stuff. She's mm-hmm. like, no, it couldn't be that. It couldn't be that sort of thing. Yeah. Right. So she's not saying those things. Yeah. She's clearly coming up with things that she is trying to figure out by piecing things together from what you are saying and then dismissing them, which is going, mm, not that, not that, from what you're putting to her. So, right, Charlie's Haven, so I can swing that by the sheriff. I think if you found evidence of, what, big vitae blood baths? Yes. Supposed. And the remains and uh, evidence of vitae from thin bloods in the backyard? Yes. I... I I think the the sheriff will hand wave that. I think that's a fairly easy thing to swing by him. The going into Ward Z is concerning. Were you invited? Did you get permission? No. Okay. That's more of a problem. That's going to be difficult to swing. It's, you guys... Mm. So it was the last person who may know where Charlie is. Yes, when... You and given sh- what we found at his haven... You should have said something to someone. You are right, but time is of the essence. Mm. A phone call would have saved you so much. Wonderful things, telephones. They've been around for a long, long time. Particularly the mobile phone. Anyway, what was I saying? The likelihood is that you're right in, in terms of well, there are Sabbat symbols. Charlie may have gone off the deep edge and, uh, deep end rather, and, uh, flipped. Probably tried to convert his, uh, two child to the cause. 
What about the figure that was watching us? What figure? Isabella? Yes, you saw her. We could not. As we uh, uh, drew closer to Charlie's Haven, there was a figure obfuscated in shadow who watched us and allowed us to enter Charlie's Haven. You said that she was Hispanic or...? She seemed uh, dark-skinned, Mediterranean. And she drew back the light? She what? did. She controlled the Sorry, shadows. Sorry, drew back the shadows. That. Stop. Who saw her? I did. What did she do? There were shadows around the haven. She threw them back into the street. And she saw us. And then she disappeared. And no one else saw her? Just me. And you have been comforting... Sam. Yes, it is. And no one else saw this figure? This figure that could control shadows? We could not. We couldn't pierce it. You said that you saw something. Just the shadows we move, but the, the figure shadows. amongst them. Sure. Isabel, would you mind stepping out of the room with Sam for a brief period of time? It's not that I don't trust you. It's just I want to have a chat with the two gentlemen. I will, uh... Excuse myself to the second floor, but mm. I don't believe I have hidden anything from you. We need to discuss away from Sam, and you can make sure that he doesn't get up to anything. Kevin? She'll be right. Well, I shall see you in a moment, then. Keep your eye on him, please. Of course. I know how it is to mind children. Isabel steps up, taking Sam by the hand, I presume. Sam looks at you with eager eyes, like he's going for a walk or to go play, or take him out of the room Mm -hmm. and close the door behind you. The minute she does this, I'd like you to test her blood. Uh, Isabel's blood? Isabel's. I'd like you to test Sam's blood. Yes, sire. And I have to go. What? Because I have to confirm my own suspicions. And what are we to do? Find Charlie. What are your suspicions? My suspicions is that the Sabbat have infiltrated the city of Adelaide. And have done so successfully. Have they ever had a presence here before? Not for years. Not for decades. Is there any reason to believe that this is anything to do with the Prince's visions? Again, there's lots to confirm and there's no use speculating. Sire, I must confess, our investigations led us to this point. I I don't know where to look for Charlie next. Well, check with Tony as to how he found... Mm. Is Tony to be trusted? You can determine that. If Tony wanted Charlie to be found, he would have told us everything he knew. Right. That's a question, Vincent. You have Sam. You could interrogate the Malkavian. Don't take the gag off. Don't let him talk. And what am I looking for in their blood? Signs of diablery. I mean, it's not a clear indicator, but it's a useful kind of tell. You know, you're dealing with a Diablerist. Um, and if either of them, both? Contact the sheriff. Yes, sir. Or use your discretion. I fear I am not in full possession of my faculties. My discretion... Shush. You need to stop and think a little better. Sire, yes, sire. Don't... Do anything foolish, Kevin. I have your name, after all. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing at all. I have to pursue my own. I'll be in contact with further information. My recommendation is that you find out as much as you can from as many different sources that you have and test the blood of the two kindred outside. She stands up. We shall sign. Thank you for your aid. Was there anything else? Uh... The name Ishtar? Ishtar? What about it? Uh, it's the name associated with this coffin and this poem. Sure. Doesn't mean much to me. Must be honest. A fledgling anarch movement out of the port. Oh, we've Perhaps known about that for years. Oh, well, well months. That does not surprise me. You knew about all of them that were in the anarch movement? There's what? Six Heather. What's Daniel. her name? Zola. Daniel. Oh, what's the Venturi's name? What's her name? Alice. Uh, what? Alice. Alice. Alice is very sweet. She she will do well as a venture. She just needs to step up. But uh, that's it, right? Isn't it? 
Daniel, Alice, Heather, um, Michael, I think, is in there. And this... Taylor. Lo- yeah. Sorry? Taylor. Who's Taylor? Just someone. A kindred? Just an anarch. Mm. This is the problem with anarchs. They don't really respect announcing yourself to a prince. Hmm. What? That's worth concern. I don't know a tailor. We tend to have tabs on most kindred in the city. Interesting. And he was here, was he? Yeah. Okay. Port Anchor with the rest of the Anarchs. I'll get some people to move on that. That might be the first issue, actually. Right. Well, Paul, there are things to do. What about the net? What? That's who owned the ship most recently that brought... You keep going on about the ship. I have no idea why it has any bearing on kindred society whatsoever. What if it, if it was used to bring a, a Sabat elder of, of unknown power here to Adelaide? What if it was used to bring Cain himself, except Cain isn't real? What if it was used to bring an antediluvian, but those aren't real? What if it was used to bring God himself, they stuffed him in a coffin? What if it was used to bring the Easter Bunny... What about Santa Claus? I'm what just trying to Satan give you himself? a full picture of what we found. Give us a full picture that is useful. Be articulate with your thoughts and your expressions. Don't waste my night. I have things to do. A boat that arrived when? That was bought when? That has what on it? Doesn't sound very pressing to me. Good night. I'm just trying to check if we've missed anything if, important. If we have, it's, it's this too late like real time. Good night. Good night, sire. Thank you. She exits. Um, she passes you and Sam on the way out. Good night. Good night. Child of Shepherd. Good night, Sam. Uh-huh. Be well behaved and don't make a fuss. Uh-huh. And she leaves. Kevin's going to go over to Vincent and just kind of like under his breath. Are you going to test Isabella? Of course. Have you got this in hand? Hopefully she cooperates. I'm going to go find out about... Fuck, what's his name? Tony. What do you mean, go? No, no, don't oh, go. Oh, and um, one other thing. Remember that Isabella's sire had something to do with Charlie. Oh, no. Yes. And he's starting, and he's going to walk out. No, no, Kevin, don't go. Don't leave me here with them. He'd beeline straight for the car. Okay. You see Victoria give you a sideways glance because you do catch up to her. She looks at you. Leaving? following a lead by yourself Vincent's got everything well in hand I'm of no use there let me ask you a question who do you think would win in a fight Isabel or Vincent just a thought ciao Bella (laughs) (laughs) just to clarify Victoria didn't laugh right (laughs) no she did she giggled at her own joke calling you a girl oh I thought she it's her twilight then. Never mind. She, she gets into her car and drives away. Mm-hmm. She didn't even open her briefcase. Kevin is still going to get into the car. No, oh, Kevin, don't go. I, I, does Vincent come out? Does he, like, actually, I think he might. Yeah, he comes out of the door. Yeah, 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 I come to the door. Yes, yeah, yeah, what's up? Am I completely fucking with you here? Because I'm following an intuition on something. Uh, it's, 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 at this point, mystery games start with quite a clear set of rules and, like, what the clues are and everything. And then it kind of becomes Devolves your into- game. Because you've given me a few things that I need to follow. Okay. I mean, y- y- you... Cool. You choose your needs and wants. Uh, okay. So Vincent, Vincent runs comes out to the door of, and he's like, out of the, "This is, oh, Kevin, this is it's just he's not going to respond to Vincent. This is a beeline. This is getting cool. in the let car. It, let it play then. Yep, this is driving off. <laughs> oh god! Kevin gets in the car. The only means of transport that you have. No, I have an Audi. Oh, okay, great. I can drive uh, and uh, drives off into the night. <laughs> oh, Kevin, you fuck face. <laughs> In character? Out of character. <laughs> Kevin, you fuck face! I don't, I don't think Vincent would call him a fuck face. <laughs> what, I, what would he call him? If tested. <laughs> fuck uh, Traitor. A, a bloody fool. Also, out of character, I'm totally excited to see this. <laughs> Isabel has Sam. Sam is holding Isabel's hand. He's sitting... He's quietly standing next to you. You're probably watching Vincent's back. He's just standing there in the doorway, looking out at where Kevin once was. 
I'm going to take the gag out of Sam's mouth. No, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> okay, you do. You I, do. Turn, I turn around and see this happening. Yeah, you do. No, don't do that. Put it back. My side put it there for a reason. We are in your house. We are cooperating. What more do you want? Come back in, Vincent. I need to, to test both of your blood immediately. Then do it and stop acting like a fool. Huh. That wasn't the response I was expecting. Come inside. Okay, you, you first. Quickly, come. All right. Wait, aren't you standing outside? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm on the doorstep. Like, okay. I shut, <laughs> shut, the door behind, shut, the door. shut the door behind me. I didn't run outside. No. I came to the door. I'm right, just like, right. All right. Uh, just he like, like, run down the street after I, Kevin. I, I, thought no, you, I thought you were you out. dickhead. I thought no, you were out door. in the front, like in the driveway and being like, yeah, no. well, come out here. It's like, no, no, no. It's no, nice no. out here. I, I say come while, while approaching you. It's like, like yes. an inclusive come here. Sure. And what do you think you're going to find, Vincent? Whether you or he or, or, or both have been slaying kindred. I have not slayed any kindred. Well, then you should have no issue proving it to me. Quickly, quickly. Give me a piece, a little of your vitae. Not much is needed. You do need to spend a point of blood. It's a bit all or nothing. Welling up blood is not something that you can do without using it for other purposes. So uh, for this instance, would you like to just spend a point of blood, opening a wrist and giving him? Or would you like to use a point of blush of life and manipulate the human kind of expressions? And as a uh, addition to that, you could like cut yourself and it would be like okay. a human bleed. Right. But it would just be vit- Vito. It would still be Vito. Uh, that still spends blood, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um. So it's a neither here nor there, but the added advantage is you get to use a bit of blush of life for a scene. Well, maybe I'll, I'll do that so it's kind of like very human. Yes, it is very human. You spend a point of blood and use the power of blush of life. How are you going to give up that blood? Am I still wearing my ring? Sure. So I have a ring that has like a little rosebud um, and you take the rosebud off and there's just a little sharp point. This actually exists in real life, guys. Do you have um, it? No, it's quite expensive, but I want to buy it for self-defense. But yeah, anyway, so um, kind of nicks the the wrist. Mm -hmm. While she's doing that, can I put the gag back on? Sure. Just let me do this first, please. Please. Whatever you would do to him, you can do to me. Uh, that's why I'm doing it to you first. And then if we can trust Sam, then perhaps we will discuss taking off the gag, okay? He, he, he tried to, to, to uh, dominate me, to let, get me to let him in. He, he is not all he seems. Trust me, please. Please. Why would I... Hang on. Am I able to use my awe on Sam? You can try. You can use awe. You can activate. Awe affects anyone and everyone. It affects the lowest willed first and then affects ascending from that order. Mm-hmm. So if you walk into a room of 10 people, those weakest willed will fall under your awe. Yeah, I want to use my, my awe on... Okay. Well, you, you, you activate awe is what happens. And you hope that Vincent is stronger willed than Sam. Yeah. Uh, and if you get enough successes, it will affect both of them. Yep. Um, oh. And I just go. Oh. It's a big area of effect. Thing. So I just kind of like make a motion to Vincent, turn to face Sam in the eyes, smooth a little hair off his forehead, and activate. I want to test your blood. <laughs> you just fucking come down. <laughs> no, Sean. How many successes Bill? did you get? <laughs> Why? Two. Okay, uh, you were both under the effects of awe. Okay, I feel. You feel as though Isabel is beautiful. That her suggestions are more likely to be right than wrong. So this is kind of... I'm looking at Sam, but I'm also kind of like... It's almost like I'm... It, it is a way of being. Imagine someone with great charisma walks into a room. Mm-hmm. Mm. And they kind of flex that charisma in a way. They extend their um, kinetic sphere out. Mm-hmm. It's a bit like that. Yeah. So it's kind of like, even though I'm looking at Sam, it's like my eyes are... Your whole body lo- language changes. Yeah. It's everything about the way you stand, mm-hmm. the way you hold yourself, it's, the way your it's, skin looks. Yeah, it's like I am like the Madonna. <laughs> yeah, yes. and, that's and, a really good analogy. You yeah. know, I'm kind of saintly in my kind of the way I smooth Sam's hair. Some of the Sam's tension hair. Like, dissolves from Vincent's it's, shoulders. It's like I'm relieving the room yeah. of something. I like to imagine yes. you've got one eye on Sam and then the other eye just turns. <laughs> <to> <laughs> it's like Sam. a laser, yeah. Okay, um, well. And I, I just say simply, we will not harm each other. Of course, Isabella. Of course we wouldn't harm each other. It's just a little blood to test. No harm. Take from me. So I let him test my blood. Spend the blood 
close my eyes. Hold out the wrist. Gather you spent a point of pizza. blood for all. By the way, man, it must suck to be under the influence of someone, some other vampire, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what blood, the game is. How much blood do you have left? I mean, you could cave my skull in, so... Oh, if I figure out, <laughs> if I figure out what you did... <laughs> Wait, what? Kevin ain't happy if he finds out. If he somehow finds out... Oh, finds out, out that you, ado- you he dominated you. Yeah, okay. So, I touch her blood. Mm-hmm. And you cast your spell and spend a point of blood to do that. Really glad I drank earlier. Mm-hmm. Five successes. Ooh, 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 so ooh. the first most pertinent information I want to know is, is this the blood of a Diablerist? Nope. <laughs> I was literally, Ellen, I was literally laying awake last night <laughs> thinking, I bet she's playing something with Chris. She's playing something with Chris. She's going to she's gonna fuck us all. You're such she's going to fuck us you're all. You're such a paranoid boy. But it would be so good. What? <laughs> What? Beware the pious. <laughs> Is that your kind of thinking? Yes. And uh, then you just fist bumped. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've made some interesting characters and some good story moments. So no! <laughs> it's fun to celebrate them. Oh. I missed my chance to just uncover you. No, no. With you, no, Phil. no. We're just messing. Okay. You, have, yeah. uh, you have uncovered no diablerie. <laughs> And, I mean, I know when she last fed. I know that it's Vitae. Uh, and I know roughly what generation she is. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those are all facts. And they're just confirmed to me through. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Now him. Sam, will you let us take some of your Vitae? It can only be taken if you give it up. Okay. Hmm. Damn it, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> he Fucking hell. God damn it, Sam. Puts out his hand. Do I need to cast again? Yes, you do. Yep. He puts out his hand, gestures to, like, give him something. He's like... My ring? Mm. Mm. And he's pointing to the knife that you have on you? No, no, no. no, no. Knife. Knife. Sam, knife. I want to take knife. his hand. No, okay. You tell him no? Yep. He cooperates, gives you his hand. Yep. And then using my ring, just kind of just prick. Great. Fantastic. I'm so glad you did it. Fren- I wonder what would have happened. Frenzy check for you. For me? You are very hungry. Mm-hmm. And you are welling up blood in someone. Yeah. And you are in control of it. And that's my... Self-control. What's your blood at? She's two. at two. I'm at so three. I didn't feed. Oh, no. What have I left you guys with? Have you just... Yeah, Kevin. You, and that's that point there? <laughs> yeah. Frenzy check for you as well. Fuck! You both. What's a frenzy check? Frenzy. Oh, my God. We're just going to eat Self-control. Sam. Self-control. The difficulty is... Kevin's going to come back to a bloodbath. It's not that much. For Ellen, it's a little bit higher. For Isabel, it's a little bit higher. I could use willpower to yeah, resist frenzy. Uh, for but then I'd be on two willpower. I can't. For Isabel, it is self-control roll. And your difficulty is five. Vincent, it is four. Because you're seeing blood when you're hungry. Oof. And you are literally holding blood mm-hmm. and very hungry. One success. What would you like to do? I'm not sure I want to go down to two willpower. Up to you. Like, I feel like I need, as I'm, like, Vincent's already falling apart, mm-hmm. right? His paranoia is growing, and and his sigh is like, you need to, 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 to keep yourself steeled. And I feel like spending more willpower. But then again, going into a frenzy right now is also the opposite. Mm-hmm. So I'm really, like, 50-50 torn on whether I should spend the willpower to avoid the frenzy. Totally up to you. You might be able to act in a way that... Just five willpower back. I don't know. I'm getting favors through footsies with the DM. I'm getting favors. Just uh, being you wait. Manipulated. You wait. <laughs> That's what you think. That's completely true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend the willpower. Good on you. Wink. <sighs> what are your self controls out of him. curiosity? <laughs> I bet it's him. He he's him. he's from out of town. Interesting. <laughs> who knows who the fuck he is? Who knows who his sire is? Can you not be racist for a minute, Vincent? <laughs> Interesting. And Sean loves secrets and stuff. You also said like... That was his whole thing in <laughs> Cyberpunk, that he wanted to have secrets from the rest of us. Interesting. Rest of you guys. <laughs> it's Kevin! Mm. Just roll. Roll. <laughs> I don't know. I spent willpower. I don't need to roll. Oh, okay. I, I could roll you for still, a spell. You still should roll. I still need to roll? Yeah. I just uh, to resist it, the frenzy. You just spend oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I'll spend for the spell. These dice take forever to change colour. Mine just stay red. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mood ring. <laughs> kept, kept red. <laughs> Bruja. Six successes. Six successes on Jesus. the spell. Difficulty four. Right. It's only difficulty four. Yeah, okay. So. On the bloodcast? Great. What would you like to know? Quite a lot, I presume. 
Uh, yeah, all the information about this kid that is available from that. It's ask, 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 and you shall so receive. It is Vite. Yes. Of course it is. When did this creature last feed? Earlier tonight. Do I know on what? Well, nope. uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the carcass? or animal blood or you know kind what? blood? Because it is so potent. Yes. On another kindred. On another kindred. Yes. Tonight. Tonight. On another kindred. Chloe. Chloe, bloodbound. We know this. Well, we presume this. His generation. Uh, approximate yours. Okay. Side by Charlie. It should be kind of thinner than mine. Charlie should be around mine. Should Charlie be around yours? We don't know that. I don't know that exactly, but he's he's sort of a young. He hangs around with with younger, older, further generation. Generation has nothing to do with age. I remember some. Of no, the- but I I, I mm-hmm. figured he was he was young in 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 kindred terms as well. Sure. Like, and he yeah. hangs around with late generation vampires. Well, some so of those anarchs, he himself was already. Some of those anarchs were of older generation. Yes, and of course, Diablery. No, what? He's not a Diablerist. He's not committed to Diablery. <laughs> Stay away from my son. <laughs> Should have tested my blood. <laughs> that would have been wise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been played. I suspected you all along, but it was him. No. <laughs> well done. You played yourself. Can can. Can he put this together? Can he switch his suspicions? I mean, you can susp- switch your suspicions Think any which way you like. You can suspise like, all you want. We've literally done it now. Does it, does it make sense for Vincent to be like, oh, no, shit? Well, because you know... No, it doesn't. It makes as much sense as you want it to make. You can make anything make well, he's sense. paranoid. You're right? very yes. paranoid, so anything... You, that- have, you have a derangement about paranoia. Yes. Uh, on paranoia. Yes. Your, your figure is literally paranoid. He believes anything and everything. He trusts no one. In the demo, I tasted, tested his blood. No, you tried to. And I didn't let you. That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh, Isabella, I've made a terrible mistake. Mistakes can be forgiven. I don't think Kevin's who he says he is. Think about it. Think about it. Uh, a, 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 a stranger from out of town. No one knows who his sire is, where he came from. He, he was just just foisted upon us. We, 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 he, he, could, he could be anyone. He has no links, no, no sire. He's just as likely to be uh, one of them. And I'm sorry, Isabella, that I thought it was you. I have a natural distrust of faith and, and, and piety. And but do you have faith in what? Your own mind? Rationality. Evidence, yes. And yes, I am disturbed, but I don't think we should trust Kevin anymore. I, 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 I am not saying I know for a fact, but he just left us in this most dire time when we need each other the most. It is true, he did leave. And didn't tell us why or where and refused to... I did tell you where. You said you had a couple of things. I said I was going to go after Tony. I told you that. Where did he go? I don't think you did tell them that. Didn't you say that? Yeah, I did. I don't remember that. I, did. I was sure you said. Oh, okay. I'm I, I, I might have Tony. missed it. I, I, I went up to Phil and I said that exact thing. Oh, I didn't okay. tell Isabella, but I told Tony. He said he, no. said he said he was he was running off the Tony, and 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 Victoria. She said that the Tony may have information or just more to do with this. Well, so we find Kevin, and we find information. But <sighs> forgive me, I am. I need to feed. This has been a lot for me. Of course, of course. Uh, uh, my my herd know where my where my house is. Let me let me summon one for us, or, or, or a, p- a pair. Thank you, Vincent. I do not think we should ash- act so rashly again. Uh, no, I, I I will defer more to your wisdom in future. I am sorry. It Isabelle. is not wisdom, Vincent. It's faith. <laughs> Can I feed? Does he need? He doesn't need. Does he to. need to? He asks. Mm. Can I feed? You can have some. Some? Um, some? A little. Fantastic. Thank you. He attacks. What? 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 God, I hate myself right I've now. I've been telling you this for ages. What have you been telling well, us? Sean knows. <laughs> you got it. Uh, rolling initiative. Adelaide by Night is a Baby Beard Media production. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And all our podcasts are available on Spreaker, YouTube, and all good podcatchers. Portions of the materials are the copyrights and trademarks of White Wolf Entertainment AB and are used with permission. All rights reserved. For more information, please visit white-wolf.com. This season of Rolltocast is made by fans, for fans, and is not officially licensed material of White Wolf Entertainment.